Hello everyone, welcome to Agriculture Insight. Did you know that 8.1 billion pounds of barley are harvested in the US every year? That's an incredible number. From those barley grains, we get refreshing, flavorful beers that are a staple in gatherings and happy moments for millions of families. The journey to creating these amazing products starts on lush green barley fields stretching under the clear skies of the Midwest. Here, barley is harvested using modern machinery, ensuring speed and efficiency while maintaining quality. Then, the barley is sent to breweries, where careful processing turns it into delicious beers, a symbol of craftsmanship and brewing art, offering a fantastic experience for beer lovers. Join us as we explore the magical journey of barley grains. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel to keep following along with other fascinating agricultural stories. You've probably enjoyed a cold, delicious beer and wondered, what gives it that amazing taste? The process of getting the best quality barley for beer starts in lush barley fields, and it wouldn't be possible without the help of modern machinery. But before we dive into the harvest process, there's an important question to answer. When is barley ready to be harvested? Barley typically takes about four to six months to fully grow, from planting the seeds to being ready for harvest. In the final stage, the barley grains turn a golden or brown color, which is a clear sign that they are ripe and ready to be harvested. A simple way to check is to snap a grain. If it easily breaks off from the stalk, it's the perfect time to harvest. Harvesting at this point ensures that the barley grains don't fall off or lose their nutrients, preserving their flavor and quality. When the barley is ripe, harvesting is done using modern machinery, saving both time and effort for the farmers. On barley fields in the U.S., especially in the Midwest, modern combine harvesters are commonly used for the job. These machines not only help save time, but also optimize the harvesting process, ensuring high efficiency and maintaining the quality of the product. The combine harvester is one of the key machines in the harvesting process. It's equipped with sharp blades that cut the barley right at the base without damaging the quality of the grains. After the barley is separated from the stalks and leaves, it's moved into the machine's storage tank. Once the tank is full, the barley is transferred to a large container on the side of the machine, ready to be quickly and safely transported. The entire harvesting process is continuous, reducing the exposure of the barley grains to the outside environment, which helps preserve their quality. strengths of modern harvesting machines is their automation and efficiency. These machines don't sort the barley grains by size or ripeness. Instead, they collect all the grains into a storage bin. This helps minimize waste and saves time, while also ensuring the barley is harvested evenly. The machinery also reduces the labor required from farmers, allowing them to harvest large areas in a short amount of time without facing the challenges they used to encounter. Using modern harvesting machines not only brings benefits in terms of time and productivity, but 
also helps improve sustainability in agriculture. Farmers can harvest barley even in harsh weather conditions without worrying about the grains getting damaged or losing quality from being exposed to the ground or rain for too long. This contributes to the growth of the U.S. agricultural industry and helps provide high-quality raw materials for the food processing sectors, especially beer production. By applying technology to the harvesting process, the U.S. is not only boosting production efficiency, but also strengthening the beer industry, offering great products to consumers. The quick and efficient barley harvest is the foundation for producing delicious, high-quality beers, which plays a significant role in the agricultural economy and food processing industry of the country. After the barley is harvested and transported from the fields to the brewery, the first step in the beer making process is to store the barley in a warehouse to begin the malting process. Malting is created by soaking the barley in water to trigger germination. In a controlled environment, the enzymes in the barley grains are activated, converting starches into sugars which will later provide the energy needed for fermentation. Once this process is complete, the barley is dried and becomes malt, the next crucial step in the beer making journey. Next, the malt will be transferred to milling equipment to be ground into a fine powder. This is the first step in extracting sugars from the malt. The ground malt is then mixed with hot water, which helps the water extract the sugars from the malt. Hot water is added gradually while stirring, and at a temperature of around 65 degrees Celsius to 70 degrees Celsius, the enzymes in the malt break down the starches into simple sugars, creating a sweet liquid. The liquid is then extracted and moved to a filtering tank. Here, the water is drained off, separating it from the leftover malt solids. The malt solids can be repurposed as animal feed. The liquid is then boiled in brew kettles. This step is crucial for sterilizing the liquid and removing any unwanted bacteria, while also concentrating the flavors. During the boiling process, hops are added. Hops not only give the beer its bitterness, but also add distinctive flavors. The timing of when the hops are added varies depending on the type of beer being made, 
allowing brewers to control the bitterness and flavor profile of the beer. Afterward, the wort is quickly cooled down. The liquid is cooled to around 20 degrees Celsius to prepare it for fermentation. This process takes place in large containers that have been thoroughly sanitized to ensure no bacteria or contaminants get in. After fermentation, the beer undergoes strict quality checks to ensure it meets the highest standards. Finally, the beer is bottled in glass bottles or canned in stainless steel cans, ready for distribution. The bottles are sealed and labeled before being sent to warehouses, where they are then distributed to stores, supermarkets, or restaurants, so consumers can enjoy the results of this carefully crafted process. Before barley becomes the delicious beers we enjoy, an essential step is growing and caring for the barley plants. High quality barley grains need to be nurtured in an ideal environment, with careful attention from planting to harvest. Every factor in this process directly affects the final quality of the beer. The process of growing barley starts with selecting the right barley variety for the climate and soil conditions. Barley is usually planted in early fall or spring when temperatures are moderate and the soil is moist enough for the seeds to sprout. The soil needs to be well prepared, plowed, and loosened to allow the roots to develop easily and absorb nutrients. Barley grows best in fertile, well-drained soil, which results in higher yields and better grain quality. After planting the seeds, barley needs regular care to grow strong and healthy. Irrigation must be done properly, especially during dry months, to ensure the soil stays moist and the plants get the water they need. Whether using an automatic or manual irrigation system, it helps maintain moisture levels and prevents soil erosion. Additionally, fertilizing the plants provides essential nutrients like nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, which support healthy growth and help the barley reach its best quality. As you've seen, hops are an essential ingredient in creating the distinct flavor of beer. So, how is the process of harvesting and processing hops done to ensure the best quality for beer? Let's take a closer look at this important step. Hops are typically harvested at the end of summer, from July to September, when the flowers have reached their optimal maturity. This timing can vary slightly depending on the hop variety and the climate conditions of each region. Generally, hops take about four to six months to fully develop from planting. During this stage, the hops bloom and release a strong, fragrant aroma, signaling that they're ready for harvest. Once the hops are fully matured, the farmers begin the harvest. This process can be done either by hand or with specialized machinery. When harvesting by hand, workers carefully use scissors to cut the hop cones, making sure not to damage the flowers. On the other hand, using machines, help speed up the process and increase efficiency, but it's important to ensure the machinery doesn't harm the hops. After harvesting, the hops are packaged and quickly sent to the processing plant to preserve their freshness and essential qualities. Once the hops are harvested, the next step is processing them at the brewery. 
Fresh hops are dried to preserve them for long-term storage and to retain their active compounds like alpha acids, which provide the characteristic bitterness in beer. Drying helps reduce the moisture content in the hops, ensuring quality and preventing spoilage during storage. After drying, the hops are sorted by size and quality, then carefully packaged and stored. These hops are used in the brewing process, helping to create the unique flavor and bitterness of each beer. We've just explored the amazing journey of barley. From the vast fields under the golden sunlight to the high quality barley being turned into delicious beer. Thank you for joining me on this journey. If you want to keep learning more fascinating stories about agriculture and the brewing process, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment if you have any questions or thoughts. I'm always ready to chat with you. See you in the next video, where we'll continue to explore more inspiring stories.